Hello students, welcome back to your standard 6 mathematics digital class. We are doing lesson number 14, Banks and Simple Interest. In the previous video, we studied about the different aspects of the bank. Today we are going to solve practice set number 35. This is an exercise based on simple interest for one year. In the previous video, we had seen the different terms which are related to the calculation of interest. Let's revise them. First, the principal. The money deposited in the bank or the money lent by a bank to a borrower is called the principal. That is, if you are depositing, say, 10,000 rupees in the bank, that 10,000 is what is called as the principal. Interest. This is the money paid to the account holder for keeping their money in the bank or the interest is the amount charged for an amount borrowed from the bank. The rate of interest gives the amount of interest due on every 100 rupees for a period of one year. That is, if I say that the rate of interest is 10% per annum, it means that for every 100 rupees, you will have to pay 10 rupees extra if you have borrowed money. Time. This is the period for which you are borrowing or depositing the money. And the most important, the amount. If you are depositing money, the amount that we will get at the end of one year is calculated as principal plus interest. Or if you have borrowed money, your repayment amount will be the principal plus the interest. So remember this formula, amount is equal to principal plus interest. Now let's move on to the exercise based on simple interest for one year. In the standard, you shall learn only about the interest charge for one year. In the next standard, you will be learning about how to calculate the interest for more number of years using the formula for simple interest. Now let's start with practice set 35. The first question what would be the yearly interest on rupees 6000 at 10% per annum? Here you have to find out the interest for one year. The principal is rupees 6000 and what is the rate of interest? The rate of interest is 10% per annum. So first we have to write what is given. So let's do that. So it's given principal is 6000 rupees, the time is 1 year and the rate of interest is 10 PCPA. So we know that the interest will increase if the principal increases. That means the more the principal, the more interest you will get. So let's write that. So the interest increases in proportion to the principal. Now in this question, we have to find the interest after one year. So let us assume the interest on rupees 6000 as x rupees. Let the interest on rupees 6000 be rupees x. Now here the rate of interest is given as 10% per annum. What does that mean? It means that if the principal is 100 rupees, you will get 10 rupees as interest in one year. So the interest on 100 rupees is rupees 10. Now let's take the ratio of interest to principal and form an equation. So let's write the ratio of interest to principal in two ways and obtain an equation. That is if 6000 is the principal the interest is rupees x. That is one ratio and the other one is if 100 rupees is the principal, the interest is 10 rupees. So we are going to use these two ratios to find the value of x. So we get x upon 6000 is equal to 10 upon 100. Now we want to find the value of x. So let us multiply both the sides by 6000 so that the 6000 will cancel out. So you get x upon 6000 multiplied by 6000 is equal to 
10 upon 100 multiplied by 6000 that is multiplying both sides by 6000 now this 6000 and 6000 will get cancelled and here also you can cancel the zeros so you will get the value of x as 600 what does that mean the yearly interest would be rupees 600 so the answer is the yearly interest would be rupees 600 now let's take the second question. The question is, Mahesh deposited rupees 8,650 in a bank at the rate of 6% per annum. How much money will he get at the end of the year in all? Mahesh, he deposited 8,650 in a bank at the rate of interest 6% per annum. Your question is, what amount will he get at the end of the year? So he is going to get back 8650 and the interest. So first we have to find the interest and add it to 8650 and that will be the amount Mahesh will get at the end of the year. So let's write down the steps. First let us write what is given. Principal is 8650, time is 1 year and the rate of interest is 6% per annum. Here again let us assume that the interest on rupees 8650 is x rupees and then we will compare the ratio of interest to principal. So let the interest on rupees 8650 be x. Now what will be the interest on rupees 100? Yes, it will be 6 rupees. The interest on rupees 100 is rupees 6 because it is 6% per annum is the rate of interest. Now let's take the ratio of interest to principal. So if x is the interest, 8650 is the principal and if 6 is the interest, 100 rupees is the principal. So let's do that. So we get x upon 8650 is equal to 6 upon 100. So now we have to multiply both sides by 8650. So you get x upon 8650 multiplied by 8650 is equal to 6 upon 100 into 8650. That is multiplying both sides by 8650. Let's cancel out. So you get x is equal to 6 into 865 divided by 10. So this will give you 5190 divided by 10. You can cancel this too. So you get the value of x as 590. So this is the interest that he will get at the end of one year. The question is what is the amount that he will receive at the end of the year. So let's calculate that. So here principal is rupees 8650 and the interest is rupees 519. So what will be the amount that he will receive? Amount will be principal plus the interest. So amount is equal to principal plus interest that is 8650 plus 519 that will give you 9169. So your answer will be Mahesh will get rupees 9169 at the end of the year. Now let's see question number 3. The question is Ahmad Chacha borrowed rupees 25,000 at 12% per annum for a year. What amount will he have to return to the bank at the end of the year? Here Ahmad Chacha has borrowed 25,000 rupees from the bank. The rate of interest was 12% per annum. So at the end of one year he has to return rupees 25,000 plus the interest on that amount at the rate of 12% per annum. So first we have to calculate the interest and then add that interest to 25,000 so that you will get the amount. So let's start. So the principal is rupees 25,000. Time is one year. The rate of interest is 12% per annum and we assume that the interest on this 25,000 is rupees x. Here again we will find the 
ratio of interest to principal and form an equation. So we take the ratio of interest to principal and write it in two forms to obtain an equation like this. That is x upon 25,000 is equal to 12 upon 100. So here again you have to find the value of x. So what do we do? We multiply both sides by 25,000. So you get x upon 25,000 multiplied by 25,000 is equal to 12 upon 100 multiplied by 25,000. That is multiplying both sides by 25,000. So after calculation you will get the value of x as 3000 rupees. That means the interest on 25,000 rupees for one year is rupees 3000. So we have principal as 25,000 rupees and interest as rupees 3000. So the amount is principal plus interest that is 25,000 plus 3000. So how much you will get? So it is 28,000. So rupees 28,000 will be the total amount that MHHA has to return to the bank at the end of one year. So the answer will be MHHA will have to return rupees 28,000 to the bank at the end of the year. Now let's see the last question. The last question is Kisan Rao wanted to make a pond in his field. He borrowed rupees 35,250 from a bank at an interest rate of 6% per annum. How much interest will he have to pay to the bank at the end of the year? Here Kisan Rao borrowed 35,250 from the bank at the rate 6% per annum. And the question is, how much interest will he have to pay to the bank at the end of the year? Now in this case, you have to calculate only the interest that you have to pay to the bank. The steps are the same. Shall we solve? Yes. Let's write what is given. The solution is, the principal is 35,250. The time is one year. Rate of interest is 6% per annum. Let's assume the interest on 35,250 as x. The interest on 100 rupees is 6 rupees because the rate of interest is 6% per annum. Now let's write the ratio of interest to principal in two different ways to obtain the equation. That is x upon 35,250 is equal to 6 upon 100. Now multiplying both sides by 35,250 so you get x is equal to 6 multiplied by 3525 by 10. That is you get x is equal to 21150 divided by 10. That is x is equal to 2115. So the interest is 2215. So the answer will be Kisan Rao will have to pay rupees 2115 as interest to the bank. With this, the exercise is completed. Hope you understood how to solve the simple interest for one year. Please solve all the sums of the exercise once again and also solve the examples given in the textbook on page number 76. A penny saved is a penny earned. Keep saving and have a nice day. Thank you.